Welcome to Fool Hollow Campground. This is Osprey Loop Site 12. Um, there's the lesser number, so 11, so on. This is what we back up to. There's water. That's camp post. There's these really, really outdone bathrooms over there. They actually light them up at night, so you can see everything. There's three separate single units. Two of them have showers in it, and from what I've heard, the hot water is always good. I know every time I went in there, it was steamy from someone else taking a shower, so definitely good there. However, when people like to take showers, obviously it locks up the bathroom for a while. <laughs> We came in yesterday, it was about 70 degrees with 25 mile per hour winds. We uh, got up this morning and we've been in the 30s and got some snow, which is why I'm taking the video now because it's either been too windy, too uh, wet, raining, snowing. So I'm hoping to get this in while I can. Note to anybody watching, I know we have the tent trailer here, but they've actually changed this loop so that you can't bring in the tent trailers anymore. You can only have tents. So if you're making a reservation, pay attention to where they say tent only or RV, whatever. And they do consider pop-up trailers as RVs. I'm going to take you down here. When I booked this, I thought we'd be right on the lake. And I guess as the crow flies, we're only <laughs> I don't know, a couple hundred feet from the water. But they don't tell you that it's this nice drop-off at the side. And I know it's going to be really hard to show from video. I've tried taking pictures. It's terrible. But like... That's 20 feet down, 30 feet down. And you wouldn't even be able to fish there because of how uh, the weeds and stuff are, the, the reeds and stuff in the water. So if you have small children, I'd make sure and pay attention to where you um, book because every site that I see in this loop has the same problem where you're going to have this rock face. And I just, I don't know. My kids are old enough to not deal with it, but I'd be worried for someone with a little one running down here. Oops, sorry. Snow slippery. Sites are a little close together. We heard our neighbors. So it looks like, whoop, where's the camera? It looks like that's our neighbors, but in reality, there's a site right here. We heard them all night. And thankfully, these people left because we heard them all afternoon yesterday. So they're kind of close together. Um, again, bathrooms are beautiful. The showers and stuff are clean. Everything in here is paved. I don't know if I said that earlier. But like all the roads you drive through, all the sites, and even all the sites are concrete, so you don't have to deal with any of that. A little more congested than I like personally, but if you're into the high desert meets pine stuff, it works. Oh, one more thing. One last thing. Some of the tent pads are not that big, so if you got one of those like giant cabin tents, you're not going to have room to set it up on the pad. <laughs> 